Mr. Joshi Green Tea Gal, and this is Buddy Daddy's episode 10. Alright, so last week we had a slice of life episode of them winning gold at Midi's Field Day. I'm guessing that was the calm before the storm because that plot point of um, Ray's dad putting a hit out on Kazuki is definitely going to start coming up, if not now, then soon. Let's watch. Can't she sing? Or... Is it her singing abysmal though? Oh. It's slightly better than last time. I wonder if she has a music career in front of her too. Is singing ability something you can inherit? Is that her mom? I think we see her again. She can't want her back. Oh, she cleaned up nice. She seemed like such a hot mess before. Really? Yeah, you're ruining the premise. <laughs> Making a scene. Ouch. Mm. I hear it's hard to get over the loss of a child. Oh, I actually brought her back here. Hello, Ray is always the level headed one. Despite being weirdly irresponsible. I shouldn't make her choose like that. Can't they just see you on weekends? I mean, I'm glad she made up with her mom. Honestly, I don't see why the three of them couldn't just raise her. I think it's actually what's best for her. <laughs> Kazuki's all like, my spices! He's sleeping in the pantry. <gasps> my spices! <laughs> you know they like budget food. Yeah, she can actually sing. <laughs> like, hey, wallet daddies, come pay up. She's throwing cancer? Damn. Ow. Oh, that's not good. I still think the joint custody thing works pretty well. Oh, she knows about their jobs. Didn't expect that. Does she know Miri's dad is dead? Because she said left and not died on me. So I get the impression she doesn't actually know that. It's weird not seeing Kazuki smile. Miri's place and Oh, that explains a lot. He's got a point. Yeah, I feel like Ray would know that better than anyone. I mean, these aren't lies. Man, I know he's right, but... Jeez, way to rain on our parade here. <laughs> Bruh. Just occurred to me that Ray's not not smiling, he's just tired all the time. Kind of like a last hurrah. It's only episode 10 though, and I'm pretty sure this gets 13 episodes. Imagine a lot could happen between now and then. <laughs> Was that a smile? Can we've up to five now? Actually, no, six. Actually, this place looks pretty great. 
I haven't done climbing wall in forever. Oh my god. He's <laughs> like a little spider monkey. Is he afraid of heights? It seems bad for his line of work. Do it, do it. That's seven. ちょっとくらいいじゃん。これはミリの。一緒に食べると美味しくなるもんな。ミリの言う通りだ。俺たちは母親の幸せを奪ってたのかな。Hell <笑> That's it. Miri ga matter. You were never going to beat Ray in video games. Come on, man. That's why y'all broke. Great, now everything they do has a tinge of sadness to it. That's from the opening credits. Mm, not in this case. It's a good life lesson. Mm, you have a couple options. If this isn't the most bittersweet episode. You changed plenty. Are you kidding me? It's better to have loved and lost and all that. It was heavy. I mean, I'm super glad they were able to have that one last hurrah with Minnie, but everything they did was kind of soaked in sadness, so it's hard to say I quite enjoyed that. I mean, I'm glad she's getting to spend time with her mom, but we still got three episodes to go, so I, again, I'm not completely sure where they're gonna go with this. Honestly, since we don't know how long Mitty's mom is going to live, it seems like them staying in her lives to some capacity would actually be the best option. So that Mitty could easily just go back to them when, say, her mom dies, even if it's not today or next year or even the year after that. She'll still be a kid, possibly, when she does pass. And what then? Well, as usual, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright, well that's been it for episode 10. Tune in next week for episode 11. I've been Green Tea Gal. Thanks for watching.